Now that summer is coming, finally, I want to share with you my favorite sunscreens for the summer. So for outdoors and beach activities. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, as dermatologists, the most important thing we talk about is wearing sunscreen. So this video is not trying to convince you why you should be wearing sunscreen because I assume you already are, but it's really important in the summertime because we are spending more times out in the sun. There's longer periods of sunlight. If there was anything that I I would recommend when it comes to selecting sunscreen for the summertime is number one, make sure that you go with a higher SPF. Studies have shown that like an SPF 100 does offer better protection compared to SPF 30, mostly because most individuals tend to under apply the appropriate amount to get that SPF coverage that's labeled on the bottle. If you're good about applying the adequate amount and reapplying, then certainly you don't need to. I would say at the very least, go with an SPF 30. Other thing you want to make sure is that it's water resistant. You know, we spend a lot of time outside. It's hot. You're sweating it off. You're maybe swimming. Going with a water resistant is going to be really helpful. And lastly, don't forget to reapply every few hours if you're active in the sun. But also remember when it comes to sun protection, sunscreen is just one of the important things you should be doing. It's not going to offer you 100% protection. This is where the habits come in, right? Avoiding direct exposure as much as you can during the hours of 10 to 2, seeking shade when possible, and your sun protective clothing are all going to be really, really important in helping provide overall protection for your skin against sun damage. A few more things on sunscreen. Number one, all sunscreens are safe. I always get asked, oh, are chemical sunscreens safe during pregnancy or during lactation or just are chemical sunscreens safe? The answer is yes. I want to stress this because many of the really elegant sunscreens that actually work really well defending against UVA and UVB are chemical filters. They're a lot more elegant, less pasty, less thick, and apply very nicely. Many of the endocrine reproductive derangement that's been talked about that's controversial is really stemming from animal models, fish models, rat models, given much, much higher concentrations that human would ever get. And just to give you an idea, to reach that level of concentration, we as humans would have to apply two milligram per centimeter square, so that is the proper amount to get the SPF protection, but that amount to our entire body surface, literally from head to toe every single day for 35 years. I don't think anybody will get there, even if you are an avid sunscreen wearer, right? Now, the other thing I want to mention is applying adequate amount. So for the average adult, it's about one ounce. So a shot glass full of sunscreen to cover your head to toe to get that adequate SPF coverage. Obviously, if you're bigger individual, you may need more. If you're a petite person like myself, you may need less, but making sure that you are applying the adequate amount and reapplying every few hours is really key. Okay, now let's get into my sunscreen recommendations. First one is from La Roche-Posay, their Aunt Helios Liquid Fluid Sunscreen. This one, in the same packaging, comes in few different formulations, chemical filter, pure mineral filter, and tinted. This one, I find that most people can tolerate really well. It's very elegant. Even the mineral one is pretty lightweight, fast absorbing and doesn't leave a heavy cast. You kind of have to shake it up. It's fluid, it applies very nicely, and does even have mattifying effects, which I think many of us tend to get a little more greasy and shiny in the summer. So something that is really, really nice to have. I also love this because it's SPF 60 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So certainly if you are just looking for a good facial sunscreen to wear for the summertime, this is definitely one I recommend. Both their chemical and mineral filters are really, really nice. So the next sunscreen is another one from La Roche-Posay. And I would say this is probably my, by far my favorite sunscreen to use in the summertime. And it's their Anhelios Melt and Melt. This is chemical filters, SPF 100, and up to 80 minutes water resistant. I love this one because number one, it's super lightweight and absorbs quickly and it's very elegant. And it's not comedogenic. So I will use this on my face too if I want to be out for extended periods of time. So it's, it is suitable for those with oily and acne prone skin. Certainly if you are prone to breakouts, this is something maybe you want to kind of test on your face a few times before using it all over. But again, it's just one that is really nice, a multitasker that you can use all over the body. I love the fact that it's SPF 100 and the up to 80 minutes water resistant
lotion is really going to be helpful if you're outside sweating and swimming. Now, if you're looking for a tinted facial sunscreen that is water resistant, I recommend the Alta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44, and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. This is a mineral based sunscreen with titanium and zinc oxide along with iron oxide for the tint. It also contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and it's slightly more on the moisturizing and hydrating side. Even though it's oil free, I think for individuals with oily skin in the summer, especially when it's humid, you may find this a little too heavy. But for my skin, I usually I love wearing it in the winter time. If you're looking for another really lightweight sunscreen that is great for face and body, one I really like is from Neutrogena from their Hydro Boost line. Hydro Boost Gel Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50, again, up to 80 minutes water resistant properties. And this is really, it's just like their Hydro Boost Gel Cream that you know we all love that's really lightweight, absorbs quickly, but with chemical filters. It's very similar to the La Roche Posay in the sense it absorbs really quickly. I do find that with the gel cream, it, because it contains hyaluronic acid, it may be ever slightly, slightly more sticky, but again, it's just very subtle differences and it absorbs really nicely. And it's another one that I think is a great option if you're looking to simplify and just wanting one sunscreen that will that's nice and elegant, non-sticky that you can use on your face and body. If you are more prone to irritation, have rosacea or sensitive skin, mineral sunscreens for the most are gonna be your better friend. One of them is from Cetaphil. Cetaphil Sure Mineral Face Sunscreen. This is SPF 50, up to 80 minutes water resistant. This is a facial sunscreen. Certainly you can use it on your body, but it is a smaller tube. And it's very similar to the La Roche Posay where you kind of have to shake it up. But I do find that of all the drugstore sunscreens that are pure mineral based, really suited and ideal for sensitive skin, this is by far the most elegant. It doesn't really leave much of a white cast once you give it time to absorb on your skin. Lightweight and not sticky and really even great under makeup. Another option if you're looking for one to use on the whole family for kids where you have sensitive skin is from Vanna Cream. Vanna Cream is a line that is really ideal for those with more sensitive skin. Vanna Cream's mineral sunscreen, the very first ones that came out were very white and pasty. The newer formulation are slightly better but because of just the way mineral sunscreens are, it is still kind of white and pasty. Certainly a great one to use if you are looking for just a good mineral sunscreen that's going to cause less irritation on your skin. That is water resistant up to 80 minutes. It's SPF 50. When it comes to mineral sunscreens, I have a hard time finding one that is water resistant with high SPF that is mineral based, that is elegant to apply all over on the body that doesn't feel heavy and sticky. And here, this is where I tend and to lean more towards chemical filters because of those reasons. So one more sunscreen I wanna mention is a Japanese brand. And in general, many Asian sunscreens are just really elegant and nicely formulated that sits well on your skin under makeup. It doesn't feel heavy or tacky. And this one is from Biore, UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence, SPF 50 and PA four plus. So the PA is a designation against UVA protection and four is the highest you can get. And in Asia, that's how they designate the amount of UVA protection in their sunscreen. We know that a lot of the really serious damage to our skin are from UVA. They're able to penetrate through windows, through clouds, and really is what causes the breakdown of our collagen and fine lines and wrinkles. So I personally feel like having a sunscreen with that designation, number one, gives me more knowledge about just how much protection that sunscreen is offering. And two, is just a better way to understand how effective the sunscreen is. But in general, Asian sunscreens just have a lot more advanced filters that's not as readily available in the US. And this one is really lightweight. It's like a gel cream formulation, very similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost in kind of texture, but it absorbs quickly, is not sticky, and it's also water resistant, I believe, to 80, up to 80 minutes. And it's fairly affordable. All right, guys, so those are a few of my favorite sunscreens that I recommend routinely to my patients and to my followers. If you use any of these, let me know below which one is your favorite or please comment below with your favorite sunscreen for the summer. Again, I would love it if you give this a uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can learn more about my content on my social media accounts and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.